How is Christy McNichol, the most famous teen star of the 70s, doing now? Best known for her role as teenage daughter Letitia Buddy Lawrence on the television series Family, Christy has had the honor of winning two Emmy Awards along with many opportunities in her career. However, Christy hit a big rock in France when she participated in a movie project that caused her career to go downhill, eventually forcing her to retire at the age of 39. If you're curious what happened out with Christy and her life later, don't go anywhere, but watch this video until the end. Christy McNichol, born on September 11, 1962, in Los Angeles, California, embarked on a remarkable journey to fame that unfolded against the backdrop of the entertainment industry. As a child actress, her initial foray into show business comprised several successful commercial gigs, setting the stage for what would become a flourishing career. The turning point in McNichols' career came in the mid to late 70s and 80s when she landed the breakthrough role of Buddy Lawrence in the intense drama series Family in 1976. This television show not only catapulted her into the limelight, but also allowed audiences to witness her transition from adolescence to adulthood on screen. Remarkably, she began her journey in the public eye at the tender age of 14, captivating viewers with her talent and presence. The accolades followed suit as Christy McNichols' portrayal of Buddy Lawrence earned her nominations for the Emmy Award for Best Supporting Actress in a dramatic series for three consecutive years, starting in 1979. Her exceptional performances were duly recognized, and she clinched the coveted Emmy Prize twice in 1977 and 1979, solidifying her status as a standout talent in the television industry. With the momentum gained from family, Christy McNichol's career continued to ascend. In 1977, she showcased her versatility by making a guest appearance in The Carpenters at Christmas, a TV special featuring the iconic musical duo. This particular event allowed her to reveal yet another facet of her talent, as she demonstrated her musical prowess alongside the renowned Carpenters. In the subsequent year, Christy McNichol expanded her artistic horizons by teaming up with her brother, Jimmy McNichol, for a musical venture. Together, they embarked on their first music project, aptly titled Christy and Jimmy McNichol a collaborative effort that saw its release under the renowned RCA Records label. The album, skillfully produced by Phil Margot and Mitch Margot, demonstrated the siblings' musical synergy and showcased their collective talents. The musical venture included two notable singles, the first being a spirited cover of the Chiffon's 1963 hit, He's So Fine. This track, infused with the McNichol siblings' distinctive style, managed to carve its place on the Billboard chart, peaking at a respectable 70. The second single, Page by Page, further exemplified their musical prowess and added to the duo's growing repertoire. The promotional efforts for the album took Christy and Jimmy McNichol to the glamorous world of New York's Studio 54 discotheque where they not only presented their musical creations, but also rubbed shoulders with other luminaries of the entertainment industry. The glamorous setting of Studio 54 served as a backdrop to the siblings' musical journey, elevating their presence in the public eye. Simultaneously, Christy McNichol continued to diversify her portfolio. In the same year, she made a noteworthy appearance in The Carpenter's A Christmas Portrait, TV special, showcasing not only her acting skills but also her musical talents alongside the iconic Carpenters. Her ability to seamlessly navigate between different facets of the entertainment world was becoming increasingly evident. Christie emerged as one of the era's most prominent teen stars, making waves with appearances on popular talk shows such as The Mike Douglas Show and Dinah. Her charisma and talent also found expression in various celebrity-based sports programs like The Battle of the Network Stars, underscoring her broad appeal and versatility. The year 1978 saw Christy McNichol in a critically acclaimed role in the TV movie Summer of My German Soldier, further solidifying her reputation as a versatile and talented actress. 
However, her budding film career faced a setback with her debut in Black Sunday, where her role was ultimately excised from the final cut. In 1980, Christy McNichol ventured into the film industry and left an indelible mark with her leading role in the coming-of-age movie Little Darlings. Starring alongside Tatum O'Neill and with notable supporting roles played by Matt Dillon and Cynthia Nixon, the film explored themes of adolescence and friendship. McNichol's performance garnered widespread acclaim from critics, showcasing her ability to tackle nuanced roles and establishing her as a promising talent in the film industry. The same year proved to be a prolific one for Christie, as she took on another significant project, The Night the Lights Went Out in Georgia, where she shared the screen with Dennis Quaid and Mark Hamill. Notably, her role in this film marked a milestone in her career, as she earned an unprecedented six-figure salary for a teenager. This underscored not only her growing stature in Hollywood, but also her ability to command recognition and compensation commensurate with her talent. In 1981, Christy McNichol continued to diversify her cinematic repertoire by co-starring in Neil Simon's drama, Only When I Laugh. Her performance in this film garnered her a Golden Globe nomination for Best Supporting Actress, further solidifying her reputation as a versatile and accomplished actress. Despite her successes, 1982 brought a setback for Christie when she received a Golden Raspberry Award nomination for Worst Actress for her role in The Pirate Movie. This recognition, though not the kind any artist desires, spoke to the complexities and risks inherent in the entertainment industry, where not every project can be a resounding success. The challenges persisted in 1984 when, while filming the lead role in the comedy drama Just the Way You Are in France, Christy McNichol experienced an emotional breakdown. This unexpected turn of events led to a halt in filming for a year, shedding light on the personal toll that the demanding nature of the industry can take on individuals. In 1984, while filming the lead role in the comedy drama Just the Way You Are in France, Christy McNicole faced a formidable challenge that extended beyond the realm of her professional life. The demanding nature of the project took a toll on her well-being, manifesting in struggles with sleeplessness, unsettling dreams, and a dangerous amount of weight loss. These physical and mental challenges culminated in an emotional breakdown, revealing the intense pressure she endured during the filming process. In a candid revelation to People magazine in 1989, McNichol opened up about the contributing factors to her breakdown, citing the pressures of being a child star as a significant element. The weight of early fame, the expectations associated with it, and the demands of the industry had evidently taken a toll on her mental and physical health. Despite the challenges she faced, Christy McNichol continued to persevere in her acting career for several years after the incident. Notably, she took on the role of Barbara Weston in Empty Nest, a spin-off of the popular sitcom The Golden Girls. Her portrayal of Barbara Weston showcased her enduring talent and ability to connect with audiences in a different genre. However, despite her ongoing contributions to the world of entertainment, Christy McNichol eventually made the decision to step away from the industry. Her departure became official after lending her voice to the animated series Invasion America in 1998. The move marked the conclusion of her active involvement in acting and a pivot towards a more private life. In a surprising turn of events in 2001, Christy McNichol, after a successful career spanning 24 years, made a poignant announcement declaring her retirement from acting. Her decision, communicated through a statement issued by her publicist, reflected a desire to shift her focus towards playing what she considered her most significant role, herself. McNichol expressed that stepping away from the entertainment industry was a conscious choice aimed at prioritizing her personal happiness and overall well-being. The statement issued on her behalf acknowledged the disappointment that some of her fans might feel, as they had hoped for her continued presence in the acting world. 
However, McNichol emphasized that, for her, the decision to step away from the industry was ultimately the best thing for her life satisfaction and happiness. In a 2014 interview with People magazine, McNichol provided further insight into her decision to retire. She expressed that leaving the entertainment industry was a positive choice for her, acknowledging the personal growth and exploration that she sought beyond the confines of show business. Despite her departure, she left the door open for the possibility of returning to acting in the future, stating, I would never say never. Reflecting on her journey, McNichol shared her perspective with people via ABC News, explaining, I was on the big stage between ages 8 and 30. I left show business for a variety of reasons, but a big one was my interest in learning what else there is in life. This sentiment underscored her desire for a broader and more enriching life experience beyond the glitz and glamour of the entertainment industry. In 1997, Christy McNichol experienced a profound personal loss with the passing of Elizabeth Brooks, a close friend and former lover. Elizabeth succumbed to cancer just four days before McNichol's 35th birthday, marking a heartbreaking chapter in McNichol's life. The impact of this loss, combined with the complexities of personal and emotional struggles, played a significant role in shaping the subsequent years of McNichol's life. Following her retirement from acting, McNichol sought solace and a sense of purpose in teaching, acting at a private school in Los Angeles. This career transition allowed her to channel her passion for the craft into nurturing the talents of aspiring performers. Additionally, she dedicated herself to charity work, contributing to causes close to her heart and leveraging her platform to make a positive impact in the community. Despite her efforts to lead a more private and fulfilling life, speculation about Christy McNichol's personal life persisted for years. In 2012, McNichol decided to address the rumors and made a public announcement that she identified as a lesbian. She revealed that she had been living with her partner, Marty Allen, since the early 1990s. McNichol's decision to come out publicly was not just a personal revelation, but a deliberate choice to be authentic and contribute to the visibility of the LGBTQ community. In her statement, McNichol expressed hope that her openness about her sexual orientation could offer support to young people facing bullying and discrimination due to their own sexual orientation. Her decision to share this aspect of her life was a testament to her resilience and commitment to promoting understanding and compassion. Simultaneously, McNichol clarified that, despite her return to the public eye with this revelation, she had no real intention of returning to acting. This declaration underscored her commitment to a life that prioritized personal fulfillment, genuine connections, and making a positive impact beyond the confines of the entertainment industry. Are you curious about McNichol's relationship with Marty Allen? Marty Allen, born in 1962, ventured to Hollywood after completing high school with aspirations of making a name for herself in show business. While she secured a few minor television roles, her Hollywood journey did not yield the level of success she had initially envisioned. However, it was in the entertainment capital that she crossed paths with Christy McNichol, marking the beginning of a significant chapter in both their lives. Christy McNichol, whose acting career had already reached its zenith, and Marty Allen embarked on a romantic journey, initiating their relationship in 1992. During this time, McNichol's on-screen career was experiencing a natural ebb, but her personal life was about to undergo substantial changes. As McNichol was filming her comeback series, Empty Nest, she faced a challenging diagnosis of bipolar disorder. This mental health revelation compelled her to make the difficult decision to step away from the show and prioritize her well-being. Marty Allen proved to be a steadfast and supportive partner during this tumultuous period in McNichol's life. The two not only weathered the challenges of a high-profile career shift, but also navigated the complexities of mental health together. Their bond deepened, and in the face of adversity, Marty stood by McNichol's side, offering support and care. 
The commitment demonstrated by Marty during McNichol's health struggles extended beyond emotional support. The couple decided to take their relationship to the next level and moved in together. This shared living arrangement was a testament to the strength of their connection and the resilience of their partnership. Marty Allen's unwavering support for Christy McNichol extended beyond the challenges of McNichol's health and career. As McNichol endeavored to rebuild her professional life, Marty remained a constant and reassuring presence in her life. Despite the limited opportunities that came McNichol's way, with only a few minor voiceover roles during this period, Marty continued to stand by her partner, never losing faith in McNichol's talent and resilience. A poignant testament to Marty's dedication was her steadfast presence during the filming of McNichol's final episode of Empty Nest. This marked a significant moment in McNichol's career, as she bid farewell to a show that had been a part of her life during a period of personal and professional tumult. Marty's commitment during this challenging time demonstrated the depth of their connection and the strength of her support. Even when Christy McNichol announced her retirement from acting in 2001, Marty remained a pillar of encouragement. Despite the setbacks and shifts in McNichol's career trajectory, Marty's unwavering belief in her partner's happiness and fulfillment remained steadfast. The pivotal moment in their journey came in 2012, when Christy McNichol mustered the courage to come out. Marty Allen was not just present. She stood right by McNichol's side during this personal revelation. The decision to share this aspect of McNichol's life was undoubtedly a moment of vulnerability, and Marty's support played a crucial role in making it a positive and empowering experience. Following her departure from the acting spotlight, Christy McNichol redirected her passion and expertise towards nurturing the next generation of performers. Opting for a quieter but impactful role, she embraced a new chapter in her career as an acting teacher in Los Angeles. McNichol's decision to transition into teaching allowed her to share the wealth of knowledge and experience amassed during her more than two decades long career in the entertainment industry. As an acting teacher, McNichol became a beacon for aspiring actors, imparting not only technical skills, but also the invaluable insights garnered from her time on the big and small screens. Her classes became a sought-after destination for students eager to learn from a seasoned professional who had navigated the complexities of the industry and had a wealth of real-world experiences to share. Now at the age of 60, Christy McNichol has settled into a peaceful and contented life. Surrounded by her adorable miniature dachshunds, she finds joy in the companionship of her furry friends. Away from the hustle and bustle of Hollywood, McNichol has chosen a lifestyle that prioritizes tranquility and personal fulfillment. When not at home enjoying the company of her canine companions, McNichol finds solace and rejuvenation through activities like practicing yoga. The meditative and physical benefits of yoga likely contribute to her overall well-being and serve as a testament to the importance of holistic health in her life. In addition to yoga, McNichol remains active and engaged by hitting the tennis court, showcasing a commitment to a healthy and active lifestyle. These recreational pursuits not only reflect her dedication to personal wellness, but also paint a picture of a life filled with diverse interests and a sense of balance. Christy McNichol, despite her retirement from acting, has maintained a robust financial standing with an estimated net worth ranging between seven to eight million, as reported by numerous sources. One significant contributor to her ongoing income is the royalties earned from the continued popularity of her TV series and movies, showcasing the enduring impact of her work on fans worldwide. This steady stream of income speaks to the enduring legacy of her contributions to the entertainment industry. Beyond her acting endeavors, McNichol diversified her income streams by working as a brand ambassador for several notable companies during her time in the public eye. These brand partnerships, coupled with her successful acting career, contributed significantly to her financial success. What makes Christy McNichol stand out, however, is her humble and grounded approach to wealth. She has never allowed her financial success to define her identity, 
choosing instead to prioritize using her resources to make a positive impact in her community. McNichol's commitment to philanthropy has been a consistent part of her life, reflecting her desire to give back and make a difference in the lives of others. Over the years, Christy McNichol has been actively involved in numerous charitable organizations, generously donating both her time and money to causes she is passionate about. Her philanthropic efforts have extended beyond a mere financial contribution. She has actively participated in initiatives that aim to create positive change in various spheres of society. By using her platform and resources for philanthropy, McNichol has inspired others to do the same, fostering a spirit of giving and community service. Christy McNichol's legacy is a rich tapestry woven with threads of an illustrious acting career and a profound commitment to advocacy, particularly in the realms of mental health and LGBTQ plus visibility. Her journey through the entertainment industry is marked by compelling performances in both film and television, showcasing her versatility and leaving an enduring impact on audiences. McNichols' rise to prominence began with her breakthrough role in the TV series Family, where she portrayed Buddy Lawrence. This marked the inception of a career characterized by nuanced and impactful performances. Her ability to embody diverse characters and genres is evident in iconic films such as Little Darlings and The Night the Lights Went Out in Georgia. McNichols' talent as an actress transcended the boundaries of mediums, solidifying her status as a versatile and gifted performer. The enduring appeal of McNichols' work is evident in its ability to inspire and entertain audiences across generations. Her contributions to film and television continue to resonate, underscoring the timeless quality of her performances. McNichols' legacy as an actress lies not just in the characters she portrayed, but in the authenticity and depth she brought to each role, setting a standard for excellence in the entertainment industry. In 2012, McNichol made a significant and personal decision to come out as a lesbian, a moment that added another layer to her legacy. As a public figure, her openness and honesty about her sexuality served as a pivotal step toward increased visibility and representation for LGBTQ plus individuals. By sharing her authentic self with the world, McNichol contributed to breaking down barriers and fostering a more inclusive environment in the entertainment industry. Her advocacy work extended beyond the realm of sexual orientation. McNichol became a staunch advocate for mental health awareness, drawing from her own experiences with bipolar disorder. By openly discussing her struggles with mental illness, she aimed to destigmatize these issues and encourage others to seek help. Her courage in sharing personal challenges became a beacon for those facing similar struggles, fostering a sense of community and understanding. Christy McNichol's legacy is therefore a multifaceted one, an amalgamation of her artistic contributions, her courage in coming out, and her dedication to mental health advocacy. Through her work and advocacy, McNichol left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry and society at large, proving that true greatness extends beyond the screen and into the realm of positive societal impact. Her legacy stands as an inspiration for authenticity, resilience, and a commitment to making a difference. What do you think about Christy McNichol's career journey and her later life? Leave us your comments in the section below. We hope you have found this helpful video. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this, and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.